What's the crack, guys? Um, we're on Talon's Minecraft server here, and I'm just going to give you a quick tour of my house at the moment. So this is it. A lot of work went into this. Uh, lots of cooking stone and all that crack. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Got a doorbell. Ding dong. So yeah, here we go. This is the main kind of uh, entrance area. Um, dining room, you got to have it. Kitchen, all nice and snazzy like, yeah. I know I'm on the table, but yeah, don't mind that. Uh, yeah, you got your cookers, you got your fridge. I'm impressed with that one now, big time. That looks pretty cool, I think. Uh, yeah, you got a pot boiling in the corner here. Yeah, yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. We'll throw a few melons in there, yeah. Good stuff. Um, What's down here? Storage, I think. This is an old storage room. There's not much down there. Yeah. Um, what else we got? Um, these rooms are empty yet. I can't really think of to do with these. If you got any ideas, let me know. Um, back garden. More work to be done out there as well still. Uh, we'll do a quick run upstairs and we'll have a have a look to see what's up there. I'm starving. Well, I hate eating. I'm just not used to it. Oh wait, I forgot to try the library. Library. Um, yeah, got your enchanting table. I got another one as well. I know this one isn't really set up. This is for like low enchantments for level 1s, level 2s. I think it goes up to about 6 I can get on that. So I use it for quick ones. Uh, yeah, so we'll check upstairs. It's not much going on up here yet either. Got plenty of rooms here, so if anyone wants to stay, I might consider letting you move in. More rooms, rooms. We've got an attic up here. There. Jump, jump. There we go. I can't think of anything to put up there. Uh, but I'll, I'll think of something eventually. Um, What's over here? More bedrooms over here. This one was kind of... I only done a bit of work on this one, really. I made a little kind of a, a wardrobe area here with a secret passage out. There's kind of a spiral staircase all the way down there. I'm not going to follow it because it doesn't really go anywhere at the moment. But it probably will in the future. Uh, yeah, so we'll go downstairs now to the basement. That is where the magic happens, so to speak. That's where... That's pretty much where I kind of use day to day. You got the pool, yeah. Go for the morning dip. Uh, I'm not really sure about this snow. I know it kind of looks pooly, but... You know, it looks like tiles or something. But I think I'll change it. I don't know. Little seat in there, you gotta have your jukebox. Um, this is the kind of safe room, yeah. So if you want to come grief me, go in there. There's a chest with like diamonds in it. It's uh, it's not locked either, so go for it. If you can find the house, go for it. There's the coordinates. Off you go. Press that button to open the door. Good luck with that. And then you got the the stripper pole, of course, for all those late night functions. You gotta have it. This is kind of a. Uh, What's in it? Bows and that one. Swords. Um, armor and junk. <laughs> but the looks of it. You got your pool room. You gotta have the pool room. Um, pool table. Pretty snazzy, I think. Got the pool balls over here. The cues. That's what you want. Um, and then if you hit this guy here in the middle. You hear that? Pistons? Yeah. Opens up this. Which is down to my main storage area. And this is like... Yeah, I got everything in here, you know, everything I need. So, yeah, you know, you got diamonds, gold. Oh, my gold is gone, actually. I use it to make powered rails. Loads of iron. Coal. And you can think of loads of furnaces here on the floor. There's not much in them, really. I don't leave any valuables in them, anyway. What else? Blaze rods. They're pretty good for cooking. I've got a blaze farm. I might show you that at the end of the video, actually. It's, uh, it's great for XP. You know, plain stone for your buildings, cobblestone, stone bricks, all that jazz, right? Uh, here's my piston door, 4x4 four four piston door. It's actually broken at the moment. The glowstone has gone out. It should open alright. Yeah, so it opens, but it, it doesn't close properly. I've been working on it. Yeah, you get your farms down. Cows and the sheep keep bloody getting in here. It drives me fucking mad. Where are you, you purple bastard? Uh, you got your cow cooking machine. you got to have that. Few hours. It sets them on fire, look. And then they drop a lovely cooked steak. Which is always good. And I got that other sheep as well. Right, animals are so spazzy in, in SMP. They always find their way to the walls. This is the sheep then, of course, with a cow in there. Fucking hell. And pigs with sheep in there. It's kind of predominantly pigs, predominantly sheep. It's not one or the other chickens. I should really pick up those eggs, but I can't be arsed right now. 
Um, oh yeah, I got a, a little pressure plate here. Um, it throws out a shears. There's a dispenser down there underneath. It throws out a shears when you jump in. So that if you want to go get wool or anything. Right, we'll see does this piston door close. I bet it's not going to close properly though. See, it's missing two blocks, so that doesn't help. Ah, it closes that far, so it's okay. As I said, it's uh, a work in progress. Um, where else can we go? Oh, the farms. Not farm, not sheep farms, like... Ah! Materials farms. So, through the potions lab here, we got our infinite water source. Uh, all my brewing stands, various potions down in all these. Which we use for various different things. Ingredients, you got to have your ingredients. Down here then leads to the farms. I'm still doing a bit of work down here, actually. This has kind of been this, work, this week's project. Uh, so, I've done a bit of work down here. Um, so, you got ugh, spazzing out cactuses, whatever that's about. You got the cactus farm, got 12 cactuses there, nice. You got the wheat farm, which I think is pretty cool. I'll actually harvest it while I'm here. It's, uh, it's a bit slow maybe to harvest to bring everything down. Um, ugh, lag. Lag as it breaks all the fucking the wheat. Look at the lag there, that's ridiculous. And then the three frames. Yeah, but it gives you like, I don't know, about 200, 200 wheat or something. Something ridiculous. Um, yeah, we'll just wait till all goes. I might fast forward through all this because this is going to be boring. go guys uh yeah so that's the wheat farm that's everything collected it's still lagging it's not actually lagging because of the water like i thought it's because the amount of items that's on the ground um so if you hit this guy here which i should have done it lifts up the items to you and lets you walk across and it also drops down a hole here which is pretty handy comes out of that guy up there i'm not going to replant this now i'll do it later on uh just grab all this not to waste something there we go so i got a i got two and a half stacks and three and a half stacks of uh, seeds so that's pretty good uh, this is the slime farm not in there at the moment I know you might think it's a pretty small slime farm but this isn't actually the farm this is uh, there's like a water canal system that leads uh, can I get up there actually I'll just give you a quick look see it goes all the way down oh there's one coming up there now actually it looks like a big one too good stuff yeah so that leads all the way down to spawning pads downstairs I'm not going to show you them because it's too far to go down and I don't really well I do have access but maybe I could show you actually uh, while I'm here, I just do a quick rundown. It's uh, it's pretty easy. You just find a slime chunk. There's a program for doing it, and you just dig out this area. Make sure you got four by four in the height, and the big guys can fly, can uh, spawn. And yet the water just they can fall off all the sides, and the water channels them here and brings them up in a kind of a a water stairs. That's uh, Ito's design, so you should know that. Not know it, but you should look it up. Actually, Ito's lab. Look him up on YouTube. He is savage. If you want to know anything about Minecraft, he's the guy to look at. Uh, after our own talent, of course, he's a he's a genius. Well, on the farm, stand on the pressure plate, hit this guy, and it lets off the water. There's water, uh, just pistons up the top, holding off water, and it brings it all down towards me, slowly but surely. So yeah, I'm gonna fast forward through this bit as well, cause we don't be watching this. Yeah, so there we go. I got um, one, two, say a little over, I probably had some there already, so probably about a little under three stacks, yeah? So that's pretty good. So when the water is stopped, then you can step off. It drops it back down, and of course the new patch uh, allows melons to grow. You don't got to, uh, I don't got to go along here and, and hold this out with, or till this with a hoe. So that's really awesome for, for automatic farms. Yeah, so that's downstairs. That's actually, that's pretty much everything here. Uh, I might show you the other house actually. We've got teleporting. I've got home commands here, so I can uh, I can just TP over. Slash home one. This is uh, this is my old house. This is where everything kind of started off. Old storage room. Not much going on down there anymore. Um, what's in here? Oh, an enchantment table. I still actually use this because I'm I have to make another one. I might do a tutorial on that actually. It's going to be like an adjustable one where pistons can move bookshelves out of range of the. Um, the enchantment table, so you can get different level enchants. Uh, that's the mine shaft down there. This this whole area is strip mined down down below, or branch mined, I should say. Yeah, that's pretty much it then. Um, 
this is my railway. It goes back to spawn. You might have seen Talon's video. His house is down there somewhere. The, the bridge you've seen is down there. Uh, old farms, sheep farms, chicken farms, all that. They're all dead now. Wheat farm in there. The sugar cane that Talon decided to rob a few weeks ago. But he was nice enough to put it back. It's alright. There's his uh, talent. I can actually tag him in the video now and see if I get some hits. <laughs> uh, that's a monster trap. I use it for getting XP now and again. It's a bit laggy though at the moment. We're having server problems so I don't really use it that much. Uh, anything else? I'll show you the blaze spawner I suppose. One last thing. Slash home blaze. Yeah, I got I got home set all over the place. You should know that by now if you look at me. We'll just do a slash home list. Look at them all. I got a shit ton of them. I don't even know where half of them are. If, you, if, you, if you're on the server, you'll probably see your name there somewhere. I went and checked out your house at some stage. So yeah, this is the Blaze uh, Blaze Spawner. I might do a separate video for this. Um, but yeah, just give you a quick kind of tour of it. I'm not going to show you where it is because I don't really want people to come in here. Because it seems to be crashing the server at the moment. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, what else could I show you? Oh, I'll show you our Spleef Arena. This is our last thing I'll show you. We built this here the other day. Myself and Simon. Ugh, bit of lag there while it loads up. So, uh, yeah. And I'll actually give you coordinates to that one. So you can come out here, maybe, play us a game now and again. This is brand new. We just built it the other day. And it's great crack. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, uh, I shall see you when I see you. Later, guys.